So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of uh, Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Uh, Tejavad Kushal Kumar for scoring rank number 20 in DM Respiratory Medicine Group in NEET SS 2023 session. Congratulations and best wishes to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So can we know your brief background history from where you started till date, what all you have done? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my primary education like MBBS was done in Andhra Pradesh, sir, in Konsima Institute of Medical Sciences. And after that, uh, I did my diploma in tuberculosis and chest disease in Andhra Medical College okay. for two years. And after that post-diploma, I gave the exams for both MD as well as DNB. Uh, and I got ranks in both the exams, sir. But I decided to opt with uh, MD respiratory medicine, sir, in my same college, sir, in Andhra Medical College. Okay. And uh, last year only I completed my PG, sir. Excellent. So, and right now I'm doing my SR ship. Where? Same place? In Vizag? No, sir. Uh, right now I'm in Udaipur, sir, Rajasthan. Okay. Okay. So, now, MD, respiratory medicine, is an end speciality. To do a DM in pulmonology, uh, what is the connect? I mean, mean you, when you planned or, I mean, af happened after your PG? Uh, no, sir. Initially, I used to think that, okay, MD is more than enough. No need of going for DM. But then again, uh, there was some role of my wife as well, sir. She told me that, uh, why can't you just take a step ahead and plan for DM? Then I used to think that it will take three more years and uh, it will take a lot of time. But then she said that, but it will be, it will make your life better. So I decided to give one exam and then I thought that maybe I could do it. So that's how it started, sir. Great. Can you share your preparation strategy? What all you did, how much time you spent and how you achieved such a wonderful rank? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, my preparation strategy was kind of random, sir. Uh, it was not like I used to sit 10 to 12 hours in a day. It was nothing like that sort, sir. I used to spend barely 4 to 5 hours in a day, sir, max. And uh, what I used to do is I used to refer standard textbooks, sir, for uh, like Harrison, Palmo related, and of course, Fishman, the father of pulmonology. So that was there. And to some extent, even Murian Nadal, sir. But apart from that, I knew that there will be some questions which will be out of the box. And related to guidelines, which keeps getting updated every year, year to year. And even the same guidelines get updated within the year. So I kept tab on those guidelines as well, sir. And uh, finally, cherry on cake, that was the up-to-date subscription, sir, which actually helped me. And of course, uh, uh, to some extent, even uh, speed videos and lectures did help me, sir, to fill those gaps. Okay. So... Great, doctor. And uh, can you tell me uh, what about your MCQ practice? Sir, I used to do random MCQ, sir, every time. Because what I felt is the more number of MCQs you do, the better you will be facing in your final exams. It's not like it's not like a theory exam that you just revise it once, your theory part from your textbook and you go and write it down. It doesn't work like that. That's my opinion, sir. So one thing was sure in my mind that do as much as MCQs you can. So that really helped me to face uh, the things in the exam. Even if there was a trick question, then I used to be like, okay, I faced similar sort of questions somewhere. So I was kind of familiar with that. So that really helped me, sir. So for me, it is like do as many MCQs as you can. There's no other alternative for that. So what all the videos you looked up in speed? Sir, in speed, uh, like, of course, sir, uh, Pauja, sir, and Vidushi, ma'am, uh, the top class uh, faculty, sir. So for me, the videos were literally like both are having their different ways of explaining things. Sir used to tell mostly concerned with the, like how do you approach exam and Vidushi man was more like on case based scenario. She used to give one case and from there she used to extract the topic. So both, both were actually helpful, sir. But apart from that, I think that standard textbooks are a must, sir. There is no there is no substitute to that. You cannot just directly go into MCQs. You have to first go through your uh, standard textbook. And the foundation actually starts from the moment you get into MD, sir. So that's when you actually get hold of a standard book. And from there is what actually your preparation starts for DM, even if you want to write the exam or not. Okay. So that's how it was. Sir. Great, doctor. Now, uh, what is the number of MCQs that you have uh, done in the exam? Total number of MCQs you have attended? Sir, there's one small point, sir, based on this only, that uh, before, uh, initially when I used to do grand tests, out of 150, 
I used to attempt only 130, 135, sir, because I used to be scared. The what if I, I used to have doubts in two and uh, two options. I used to be scared that if I select this, it's obviously going to get wrong, and I'm going to lose my marks. So I used to be very conservative. So I used to get average scoring, sir. But uh, then I just uh, someone somebody said, and even your video, sir, just two days before exam, that attempt as many questions as you can because. For negativity, for wrong answer, there is only one negative mark. But for right answer, there are four marks positive. So you have to go with that positive approach. So I attempt. So I decided to attempt as many as I can. Sir. So in the main exam, I attempted one forty five questions, sir. Oh. In practice, I used to do one thirty five, but in main exam, I attempted one forty five. So that was the difference, sir. Great. So what is the message that you want to give to students who are aspiring for DM Palmanaji? Ah, uh, I just want to say that. one step one more step you can do it and uh, never forget your basics uh, keep practicing mcqs and of course standard textbook there is no alternative for that it has to be like it has to be in your mind there is you cannot take any other shortcut like okay i'll see this i'll see that i'll search in google no standard textbook is from where the mcqs are actually prepared and framed so that is the first step and later on all the other supportive measures come and of course speed is a uh, one of them sir. great now what is uh, that you want to tell for all those who want you to thank for who made your career till date whom all you want to thank you can do so uh, although it may sound cliche sir but obviously i want to thank my parents sir of course that's the primary and yes sir yes sir it is primary but then i want to be selfish i want to thank myself sir because it was me who made it possible so i want to thank myself you have to as well as my wife sir and of course all the faculty members sir and even uh, my faculty members in my alma mater sir which they laid the foundation stone sir from andhra medical college like uh, i really want to thank from the bottom of my heart sir because whatever basics i'm having it is because of them sir and uh, of course the remaining faculty speed team and others sir Once again, we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in DM Pulmonology. And thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep moving. Best wishes to you. And, okay, sir. Uh, and your dedicated uh, approach will definitely benefit many patients at your service. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All the best. All the best. Yes.